All right, finally got my truck on the rack. This is a 2020 GMC 1500, 6.2 liter. Wanted to have gears put in it. A lot of questions online. They do make gears, they don't make gears. A lot of confusion on what's going on with this gear scenario. So here, what I'm gonna break down, because this has to go back together because it's not gonna work. So, do they make gears? Yes, they make gears for these trucks. Here is the gear setup right here. There's a 410 ratio front carrier, and you notice right here that the carrier and the, the front ring and pinion um, actually comes off of the carrier. Okay, here's the problem. GM, these trucks come with two different housings. Okay, one's a GM housing and one's an American axle housing. They look identically the same for the most part. No one's been able to tell them apart until they actually open them up just like they did to my truck here today. Here's the issue. This bearing and race is a smaller bearing that fits on this carrier right here. Because of that, they don't make a ba another bearing to basically go on here, but then fit in this housing because this housing has a smaller cup area for that bearing. So because this is a smaller bearing, this is a larger bearing, you can't mix them. So what's gonna happen, also let me point out here because you're gonna say, why are we talking about the carrier when typically you're gonna remove the ring and pinion from the carrier, which you're exactly right in most cases. Traditionally, that's how it's going to be. But with these front carriers, they're actually one unit. As you can see here, there's no way to take the, the gear off the actual carrier right there, the, the center section of the uh, unit. So because of that, when you do gears, you replace it, okay? And because this is the bigger bearing setup, the bigger bearing won't fit in that cup on this, this you know center section. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to put this all back together. They're going to order another housing, the correct housing for this gear set. So we can change out the gears and go with four tens. These are three twenty threes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go up to a four ten for my forties doing the math. The math came out to be three nineties. So four tens should be perfectly fine for my truck and give me extra, um, you know, torque and, and uh, power from what I had, you know, stock. It's going to be a little bit deeper than stock. So hopefully this clears up the confusion. I know it's really hard to, to understand, but basically from what I'm hearing, you have to pull the front diff out. You have to disassemble it and open it up so you can figure out if you have the correct bearing and race that's going to match. This is the small one. That's all one unit, one you know, small bearing, small housing. This is the aftermarket setup that is only for the bigger bearing and it won't fit in there. So it's all going back together. We're gonna to have to come back after we get the brand new housing. Hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this helps you out understand what you need to do to put gears in your 1500.